All right. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Chris Paulson, and I'm a regional sales director here at Golden Care. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to join us. We really appreciate it. I think that you'll find this presentation both informative and useful. Before we get started, if you have not been on our goldencareagent.com website, I would highly recommend you do, as it is, great, it is a great source of information and resources to agents just like you. It's not only free, but it also does not require logins or passwords. Uh, so you can also reach us here at Golden Care at 1-800-842-7799, and we'd be more than happy to help. Today, we are going to be talking about leads and referrals and how one of our powerful resources here at Golden Care uh, called Care Options can not only help you and your clients in a variety of ways, uh, can also be a great source of leads and referrals too. We all know there are never enough leads, so having a new source of potential referrals or leads can be huge. I have the great pleasure of introducing our guest speaker for the day, Bob Pearson. Bob is a recognized national leader in the marketing technology, insurance, and care planning fields. Bob is founder, president, and CEO of CareQuest Inc., Navigate Technologies, and Health Choice Insurance Solutions. He's also designed and developed care option analytical, progr analytical programs, I should say, a tactical field software, and the national award-winning care options online, an online system offering unique and unmatched resources for pro proactive wellness and care planning for people of all ages. Bob has also been involved in the development of long-term care insurance solutions and authored some educational texts on longevity planning. His unique concepts, studies, and reports have been reported by Business Week Magazine, The Washington Post, the U.S. News and World Report, among many others. Long story short, Bob is a very impressive person, has lots of good information to share. So I'd like to introduce Bob, Peer Bob Pearson. Bob, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you, Chris. Um, thanks for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to, uh, and I know everybody loves PowerPoint, but <laughs> I'm going to go through, and it'll just give you uh, a way to, to get a summary out of this. Let me just make sure this is, there we go. All right, care course, I'm gonna first describe it so you've got kind of a concept. It's a money-saving consumer health, wellness, and care resource system. Uh, it combines interactive assessments with vital documents, and we maintain a knowledge base of more than two and a half million care resources. The key is they're all in one place and you'll be seeing some of the resources we maintain. We maintain them all. This isn't the link site where you go in and it links you out to different resources. There's no ads, nothing to buy. It's completely unbiased information and resources, basically for people of all ages, but it's certainly weighted towards uh, uh, older people and towards the long-term care uh, market. Okay, first of all, it, uh, we win year after year the Health Choice Leadership Awards um, in terms of our concept, and more importantly, all of our necessary resources uh, that you'll see momentarily. We also uh, took the Workplace Solutions because this is such a great tool in the workplace for employees to help, you know, when they're thrust into that situation with mom and dad or mom or dad or someone else where now they've got to take care of somebody or they've got to find a way to take care of somebody. It helps them with the resources, gives them the assessments to kind of put them on the right track of what to do next. We talk about money saving. Well, Care Options member programs underscores the importance of having your insurance by providing money saving solutions to issues related to their financial security, their personal well-being. Uh, normally, this program, years ago, we did it individually, and uh, it was $225 a year. You'll be able to give this program, working with Golden Care, to all of your clients, whether they're your uh, group clients, employees, whether uh, uh, they're just policyholders, or even prospects, without cost to you. And we'll show you how that's done. 
Our knowledge base uh, contains physicians, hospitals, clinics, healthcare facilities, assisted living, in-home care services, homemaker, even pet ser services and, and other resources. And again, there's no need to surf the internet to find all of these because they're all in one place. Also, we have some very specific uh, quality of care resources in here, for example, in hospitals. And the way that we assemble it makes it easy to understand and also easy for your client to understand when they're looking for a hospital or at a hospital. Uh, if they've got a choice, that's great. They can look it up and, and go to the hospital with the best scores. Um, physicians, a little bit of background, uh, uh, not necessarily quality reports on that, unfortunately. Assisted living, home health care agencies, nursing homes with complete quality of care ratings, and again, background information. There's no cost for that. Uh, your members can save thousands of dollars on legal documents, just like LegalZoom. You can go in without cost and create an advanced directive. And this is unique to every state. This isn't just some simple form. You go in, enter the information, it'll print out a whole set of documents or they can be emailed. Um, also, your health care power of attorneys. Uh, you can create a caregiver agreement between family members, which is real popular now. Matter of fact, in some states, in order for family caregivers to get any tax advantage, they have to have a written legal agreement uh, with the family member. Um, create our care alert emergency notification system, which is pretty unique. Our cost evaluators, uh, you can evaluate the financial risk of a family member, what a family member would face if they can't work or they reduce their work schedule to help take care of mom or dad. You know, what does that really cost? Cost of care anywhere in the nation. So we also maintain cost of care on an annual basis and you'll see our kind of our layout that we use. Our interactive care guide function just kind of walks you through, kind of like installing a simple piece of software. It'll ask you a question, answer the question, and it'll point you towards different resources that hopefully will fill that need. Self-negotiated cost savings. There's information on here to help your consumer become a smarter consumer when it comes to paying for certain types of care. All in all, interactive, intuitive, and money saving. With that, I'm gonna go right to, let me just close this up, and we'll get right to the meat here. Okay, so uh, how do you appoint or how do you get somebody in this program? Well, the first thing you need to do is contact your regional director or send an email to uh, Golden Care with your name and, and email address. And then what they can do is give you access to the system. This is the landing page that you'll see. And once you get that access code, you just simply enter it in here. So what are you going to see in the mail when they enter your name to give you access to the system, you're going to see a welcome letter. And this is just, uh, this is just a random one here. Let me, let me minimize this ribbon. Uh, you'll receive an email like this, and it'll just tell you, you know, come from specifically whatever or rep or regional director or golden care that's sending it to you. And it'll tell you what your access code is. You can also just hit the button and it'll take you right to that window I showed you and I'll be showing you again. It gives you just a, a brief synopsis about the program. This is the same welcome letter, but your name will be in the from area and your information, contact information will be down here when you send in a client name and email that you want to have access to care options. So what it does is personalize it to you. It brands it, co-brands it to you. So when your client gets it, they'll see your name on it and your contact information. And you've talked to them about this and you can certainly, uh, uh, especially in your presentation. One of the things we talk about, I know uh, the definition of this meeting is uh, referrals and, and getting leads. A lot of agents use it as a lead, use it to help open the door, and use it to get referrals. 
Um, you know, it's a giveaway if you think about it. Uh, but it's a, a, a great add-on, a great uh, value proposition modifier in a way that you can say, hey, if I can come in and talk to your people and people do this with groups, matter of fact, we'll make this available to all of them. Whether or not they buy, a lot of reps will say. Because they'll get in there and every month your name's going to be in front of them because there's a monthly letter that goes out. I'll show you that in a little bit. But you'll get this letter, you'll enter this code or just hit the button and the code will be here and it'll take you right into the system. This is the Care Option uh, uh, launch pad. It's an award-winning user interface, meaning it's easy to use and understand. And unlike most websites that have all those confusing pull-down tabs that cascade down to more tabs and more links, Care Options developed this graphical interface so that people can associate their thoughts with the pictures on the icon images, but also hover over and get additional or a brief description of what the application does. And yeah, it's like an iPad, and, and we kind of were thinking about that when we decided it. And people can you know, rearrange them within that category. You can't take them out. You can't pull these and drop them on your phone. <laughs> They're not apps in that sense of the word that a lot of people think of. You can open this system uh, on your mobile devices. Uh, obviously, on a small phone, it's it's uh, uh, not you know it's very minimized there. But on a tablet, PC, um, so what you have here are a few different functions. You log out, your App Store, which I'll show you. The on and off button here is if it's off, it won't display the hover over description. Um, this. You click on this, and it gives you a quick description of all of the applications. And there's quite a few here. So I'm trying not to overwhelm you today, but it's something when you get yours, go through it, check them all out. Uh, you have a file cabinet here where you can store uh, certain documents that you actually put together for yourself. The infamous gear, where you can go in and change your information and that the only information that'll be in here if all, all you need to activate it is a name and an email address but if you have the rest of the information certainly you can go ahead and put that in uh, or the client can and the client can update their own email address what's new will tell you if there's any new applications available there's a couple of uh, intro videos here they're uh, they're just real basic um, but I would take a look at that, more information. There is a user guide, not that you necessarily need it, uh, but there's a quick start guide to it. But it'll just give you a little insight into the system before you start. And there's also what we call an app store. Now these apps, uh, a lot of them are links, by the way. These aren't necessarily anything of ours exclusively, but they're real helpful. And if you want them on your launch pad, because maybe they're handy for you or something that you're going to be using quite a bit. You just drag them down. And uh, once you close the store, they'll be at the bottom of your launch pad. So all the apps you added, now your clients can do that too. And that comes in handy. Uh, up here, just, uh, and I'm going to start at the top, the way it's arranged, other than you can rearrange within the category are your apps. Well, let's look at cost of care, uh, certainly a popular one, and one you might already be using, Genworth or Mutual of Omaha's, um, and they're all kind of unique. Okay. And what we have, this is the type of graph. We also in, indicate whether from last year, there's been an increase or a decrease in the cost, and obviously most of it's going up. Down here is a calculator. It's just uh, got it defaulted at uh, some specific uh, care scenario here. And you can set it up anywhere you'd like to illustrate what the cost is. And over this, I've got five years of care in different settings. 
and I show 440,000. And down here, you can indicate how much long-term care insurance you'd need to pay that amount. And I've got zero years, but if we put 20 years in the and we used an average rate of inflation of 4.1%, compounded over the, the years, uh, that's certainly going to end up at a very high number. How could you pay for that if that were the scenario? Well, if you bought long-term care insurance with 3% 3, 3 compounded annually, uh, and you had a pool of money of about 514000 with appropriate payouts, however you would do that on your insurance plan, um, it will probably meet that amount or an investment. You can show it either way. So that's how the cost of care works, and you can look at it anywhere. I can return to the app menu here. And uh, the reduce work loss income. It's a really, it's real powerful too to use it when you're sitting down with a couple or their family or maybe working age adults talking about their parents, you know, and they're looking to maybe help their parents get insured. But you simply put uh, their net income, their net take home pay in there and any amounts they're putting in savings, uh, you can enter in the different categories. And I won't go all the way down, but then you can also set the interest rates for those categories. And I'm saying it's immediate, and I'm saying that the reduction in work schedule will be the historic two and a half years. And let's say that person's age at the time is uh, 45. And let's say they plan on retiring at age 66. And let's say uh, the parent they're assisting lives nearby you can indicate with them. And so we're going to submit that. So what this is, is once you retire, or once you retire at age 66, the cost to you would have been 143583 When you include your lost wages, lost savings, lost investment income, and lost Social Security benefits based on the reduction in work. And also lost use of money, which takes in a much broader uh, uh, range of losses. That comes in handy. People, you know, look at that, their mouths drop open, and they start to realize that, you know, if it happens to a parent, or you show it to the parent and say, you know, you know, which family member do you want to put in this position? Uh, it's it's really a really a helpful closer. Okay, let's move on. And you can do that with quick work, and also the disability income loss is, is a very useful tool. Uh, COVID-19 information, just CVC stuff, wellness check, why wellness, and I'll show you one of the uh, assessments. And it's interactive, and this is a real popular one. Matter of fact, some agents offer it as a tool. They say, if I come over now, I don't know how many people are inviting people to their homes yet these days, but uh, just an example, they'd go over and do a free home safety check form, walk through. And it's real simple, but it's the areas of the home that cause the most injuries are indicated here. So they go through and um, just check them all off, check the ones that are a problem. You hit submit. And the nice thing is, is it comes up with not only your responses, but the recommendations for those responses. Now remember, if your client has this, their kids can do it or mom and dad can do it. I mean, it's real simple. But these are good recommendations because the level of incidents, falls and fractures in the home are one of the major causes of hospitalization and or nursing home confinement. So that's just another uh, real helpful tool that it has. Fact sheets, caregiver agreement, Creating a living will, uh, again, this is another one of the real popular tools. We sign into our file cabinet. You can act, you actually create a file cabinet here. And if we go through, and we'll just continue to it, um, you just fill it out and one step at a time, go through, answer the questions. Real simple, but Real thorough. You can also write other directions in here. You can also request both a power of attorney, living will, or one or the other. You indicate, you designate the people 
that are going to act on your behalf with the power of attorney and or health care treatments. And then you indicate, too, if you're only signing one copy and emailing out the rest, you better indicate where you might be maintaining the signed copy. And then you hit finish, and it creates a document, and it puts it in your file cabinet, but also opens up on your screen in a PDF format so you can print it out. Or you can, you know, again, email it to family members and or your healthcare professionals. And it indicates everything you've checked off, everything that you put in the system. So that's another real handy benefit. And let me just work my way down here. We'll go back to the launch pad. Now there's quick ways to get back here, or go to the next uh, field, but I just want to make sure you see this. Caregiver information, library of information, search for resources, okay? I'm going to go right to all of them. Let's say care providers, or let's go to hospitals and clinics. And again, we maintain all of this information. Oh, I got to get out of the file cabinet. Let me sign out of that. Otherwise, everything I do is going to uh, end up in the file cabinet. So let me just go back here, and I'll go directly to hospital. Um, you can go to all the resources, or you can pick one. So let's just pick hospitals and clinics. And I'll put the zip here, 53719. That's Madison, within 10 miles. And... Let's just go to hospital. Okay, now we have a list. It's alphabetical. I'm doing a 10 mile radius. Um, if we go in, uh, one of the scores we look at is hospital acquired condition, HAC. It's relatively new, and I say that relatively, meaning in the last few years. Uh, but what it does is give you a score, the higher the score, the worse, is uh, the chances of people going into a hospital and coming out with a disease they didn't have going in. That's been a real problem. And now certainly with, uh, with uh, COVID-19, that probably presents even a greater issue. So, you know, if you're choosing a hospital and you have a choice, you want the lowest possible HAC score. But we can go in and look at more information about that hospital. And everything we do is generally updated quarterly. Um, so everything's up to, up to date. And it's just taken a while today to access this stuff. Give it a minute. Okay. So all the details about the hospital are here, whether they got psych beds, rehab beds, alcohol beds, um, services offered, a little bit of demographic, the map. Uh, you can also, uh, uh, people like street viewing it so they can get an idea of the area, especially when it comes to nursing homes or whatever it might be. Um, also down here, hospital acquired condition. Okay, this hospital has a 3.3 out of 10. That's pretty low. The U.S. average is 4.4. Wisconsin average is 4.2. So it gives you a benchmark where you can really use that for comparison. Inpatient, uh, what it does is give you costs of a handful of different types of care. And why not all care? That's not what this site's about, it, comparing prices. Nor could you keep that up to date far enough. But what it, if you are using it to compare hospitals in terms of pricing, it'll give you a general area of what the more expensive hospital is by just comparing those same features. The big one is patient surveys. With hospitals, you know, you can't go by uh, mortality and things like that because each hospital may have different types of patients coming in. Um, and so that's a tough one. But if you go by patient surveys, um, these we found are some of the best ways to really get an idea, especially a family member or, or somebody looking at or has a choice of hospitals. Uh, they can go in and get a good idea, a good feel for how that hospital is. 
And so these are updated regularly, and they have to respond. These we get also from CMS. So that's the hospital listings. And let's go over and look at uh, long-term care, more of that. And if we look at care facilities and the infamous uh, uh, nursing homes, and we put in the same zip. We got nursing homes. And again, uh, what you see out here is Medicare rates them too. So we decided to throw Medicare star rating up here. And they use their own methodology, uh, methodology to, uh, to rate them. We use a couple different on our ratings. So if we go in more info, you can really dig down if, you know, or somebody can really dig down and really get a good feel for this. Again, general background information. Then we go into state surveys and we go into um, our deficiency. What we call this is our range of comparative quality. And it's based on deficiencies from surveys averaged over the last three years. Uh, this one had six, the average is nine, the average for the state is 5.5 .5 for this level, the deficiencies that we actually measure. Um, then it indicates for you what the words mean. What few means, some means, many, potential, minimal, actual, and immediate. Uh, those are, that's all industry jargon. Uh, also, fire deficiencies. And we can look at these by just clicking on the band. And it'll tell you if it was corrected. This one, we go way back. And a lot of them we do. If we don't have current ones, we go all the way back. Fire inspections. This one's got some current ones. And uh, those obviously are important. And then also, uh, we get into penalties. If there was money penalties, none. Staffing ratios, if you want to take a peek at that, that's a big deal. This one's pretty good at 4.3. And that's one of the reasons they have pretty good ratings. They have a high, uh, they have 4.3 hours per day of total staffing per patient. That's, that's pretty high. And then resident makeup you know, what the residents there are dealing with and how how they're progressing. So that's how we measure that. And again, it's important for nursing homes because, you know, it's the last place people want to go, but, and it certainly brings up the most concerns. So to have that information is good. Again, you can look up physicians, you can look up nursing homes, home care agencies, senior services, professional care managers, even pet boarding and sitting. Uh, because people, especially moms going into the hospital, she lives in Arizona, I live in Wisconsin, what's she gonna do with her pet? So it's a way that you can help arrange if it's a long distance situation, or mom can quickly find out in her area what's available. Then we go to the assessment tools from diabetes risk, and these are walkthrough, you know, heart attack, uh, we get these, for example, from the Heart Association uh, if we don't link directly to it. Uh, but it just takes you through. And a lot of times we don't recreate, reinvent the wheel. If the assessment's good, we'll just, uh, we'll just go get it. Uh, alcohol, those are all ours. Functional, cognitive, that's a good one. Depression, anxiety, those are all in our system. Then we go to medication list or even looking up medications. This is a whole medical advisor. The difference with this is it's really easy to understand. Unlike WebMD, half the time you don't know, you know, if, if it's talking to a physician or it's talking to a consumer, but it takes you through just about everything uh, you can imagine. And, uh, any situation and clearing airways to medication. Let me go back to the main index. You can also look up medications here and see how they interact through the medication advisor. And again, it's alphabetical. It's pretty simple to use. And it's uh, a little easier to understand than the pharmacy 
uh, pamphlet that they give you when you actually get the medication. Uh, then we have a medication list. This is a real popular one. Uh, so we created a medication list that they can do. And the benefit is they can fill it out you know, on their computer screen if they are having a hard time writing or they're shaky. Um, or if they're not, I use this. It works great. Every time you go to a doctor or any healthcare professional, oh, give me a list of all your supplements and your medications. So um, i got to move this over. So it creates a medication list for you that you can download, you can print out, or you can, it's dynamic, so you can fill it out uh, right online here and uh, date it. And you hang on to this. this won't go in your file cabinet in the system, but you can save it to your own computer and update it. And that's the important thing about medication less. And with that, let me just uh, go back to our... And uh, behavior uh, advisors and more mental health. So that's just a very general outline of the things it can do, from the app store to the specific apps. When you do this through Golden Care, what they do is they, your name and information is always on the site. And uh, when, when it's a client of yours getting it, because what they'll do is create an agent profile in their control system, which then uh, your phone number, your email, your contact information will be in there. And when you give it to your clients to use, when you register your clients and they get a letter, it'll be from you. And when they go on the website that you registered them for, your name and information will be on everything they see. And the idea there is to gain referrals, say, who else do you know could use this? Because they really you know, shouldn't share their password other than with their spouse and maybe uh, immediate family members. But that helps with referrals. And also it helps gain leads if you use it as a lead gather. At a spot, if you're doing a seminar or something like that, it's an easy way to say, you know, if you give me your name and email address, we'll hook you up with this. Um, so that's what I got. Any other questions you think, Chris, or anything else you think I might want to share? No, I think you did a great job, Bob. Okay. I hope everybody got something out of it, and we look forward to uh, working with you, uh, because it really is exciting. And as you'll see by going through it, I could just give you a surface, but you'll find things that you find unique and ways for you to use it as show and tell in addition to your insurance products. It provides the education element to it. So. With that, I thank you. Thank you, Bob. We really appreciate you today. And I want to also thank everyone for joining us today. We hope that you enjoyed our presentation. If you have any questions about care options or anything for us here at Golden Care, please feel free to reach out to us at 1-800-842-7799. You can also email us at marketing at goldencareusa.com. Again, thanks for attending today, and I hope that you all have a great rest of your week. Check out our website, goldencareagent.com, or give us a call at 800-842-7799.